Hey there, Itadori. How's my cutie patootie doing today? Uh, I've been better, I guess. Also, can you stop calling me that? I don't think this is the right time for it. All right, all right, my bad. So, how can I help you today? Well, uh, as you know, Sukun has been pretty bored lately. So, uh, I'm pretty embarrassed to say, but he keeps, you know, doing his thing, not realizing that I see everything. <laughs> Is it big? Are you serious right now? Oh, you're killing me, Itadori. But seriously, how big are we talking here? Kojo sensei this isn't a joking matter. So can I keep slashing everything while, you know? <laughs> oh, I see. So Skuna's got a bit of a sword problem, huh? Uh, yeah, you could say that. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. But fear not, Itadori. Dr. Gojo has just the solution for the freaky curse. What is it, Sensei? We'll cut it off. Wait, wait! What are you talking about? This is not a choice. That is an order. <laughs> my dick! <laughs> my dick! They cut my dick off! See now, you stupid brat. Now neither of us can have fun with our cucks. Just cause you had to let my business be known to that blindfolded psycho. <laughs> Dumbass brat. In an alternate universe, Skuna ate all of the 20 fingers. But instead of killing everyone on Earth, he decided to roast the living hell out of the person he hates most, Itadori Yuji. You are a worthless, weak-ass sorcerer. Your life literally is as valuable as a grade four curse. You gonna stay my vessel until you die. You serve no purpose in life. Your purpose in life is to be slashed on my domain daily. Your life is nothing. You serve zero purpose. You should give up that body now and give somebody else a piece of that cursed energy and physical strength. Cause what are you here for? To fight against me. Throw that body away now. I mean that with a hundred percent, with a thousand percent. I've never seen someone so relentless to fight. Somebody, somebody's value so worthless that they'll throw their life to save their weak ass friends and keep coming back to fight me over and over and over again. I keep hurting you, kid. Let me, let me, let's do you a favor. Let's go to Shibuya. Let's pick a Miguel rope and we're gonna call all cursed spirits. Put a TV screen right in front of you. I'm gonna hang that rope on top of Shibuya train station. We're gonna force feed you, pry your eyes open. Probably don't need to do that cause you're already on my domain daily. We're gonna pry your eyes open until you consistently watch clips of your weak ass friends die over and over again. Till you're gonna be like, you are my special. You're gonna start going crazy, then you'll start vomiting and probably call Gojo for help and nobody will come. Just for me to grab that Miguel up and say are you ready and you're gonna say yes and I'm just gonna pull it while you beg me. Beg me, and I mean beg me, to take that body of yours. Then I will tell you screw that body. I don't need it. I got better plans and start choking you. Choke the worthless life out of your sorry ass. Hey, Yuta! Hey, Toto-san. What kind of woman is your type? I like them young! By young, you mean at least 18, right? Does Rika-chan look 18 to you? Hello, it's 911. What's your emergency? Yeah, uh, hi. It's me, Toto. Listen, we got a bit of a situation here. Remember Yuta? Yeah, well, he's kinda... How do I put this? Basically, we can call him Yuta 445. He's talking about liking him young. And he's got this doll, Rika-chan, who definitely doesn't look 18. Ah, Toto, my man. Always coming through with the most interesting emergencies. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Just to make sure you keep Yuta distracted. Maybe offer him some cupcakes or something. Keep him away from any potential kids for now. Well, you think I will just sit here and wait for the police to arrest me? Call the police back and tell them you're the one in love with Rika! Yo, Toto, what's up? 
Uh, hey Gojo, it's me again. Listen, there's been a slight misunderstanding. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, you see, it's like this, um... I'm actually the one who's in love with Rika-chan! Uh, are you sure? You know we'll arrest you for that, right? Yeah, yes, Gojo. I I'm sure. I, I can't help it, she's just so cute. Hey, Rika-chan. Let's go get some cupcakes. Bonito Flake. I get it, Inumaki. But seriously, I don't have time for this. Salmon. I've already told you, Inumaki-san. I'm busy right now. I said, take off your pants! <laughs> oh my god, Inumaki. What the hell are you doing? Hey, Inumaki-san. That's, uh, inappropriate. Go back to the zoo! <laughs> oh, shit. I'm cooked. Inu-san, what did you do to this monkey? How about you go... Uh, go f*** yourself! <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? Inumaki? Why are you suddenly so aggressive? Get traumatized! <laughs> What's happening here? Get off the pills! <laughs> Looks like you're enjoying yourself over here, mute kid. But I won't forgive you for what you did to my brother! Go into a 24 hours edging streak! <laughs> you sick son of a bitch. Tuna mayo. Seriously? Are you casting a sushi spell or something? Mustard leaf. Hey, eat the dory. Do you have any idea what this dude is talking about? I think he wants you to oil yourself up. What the fuck does he want me to do? I said oil yourself up, little bro! <laughs> oh, Nanami-kun. Didn't know you were packing like that. Hey, Gojo. I think you're worrying about the wrong dick here. What do you mean by that? Get backshotted by yourself! <laughs> I have to dig you down on some gangster shit. Hit a monkey sound. Calm the hell down. Clap that ass. <laughs> <laughs> that mute kid is really making that brat suffer more than I ever did. Oh man. Hey, Inumaki. How about this? I'll forgive you, but we gotta make a deal. Deez. <sighs> D's? Since when were you using the word D's? Eat D's nuts. Yeah, Inumaki-kun. Salmon. I know you're sleepy, but before you go, I've got a question for you. Bonito flakes. Okay, okay. I'll make it quick. Are you an ass or tit person? Uh, mustard leaf. You're in the fingers? That's a new one. Well, it's your lucky day. I've got a schooner finger dipped in hot barbecue sauce just for you. <coughs> Wait, 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 I was just kidding. Take that shit out of your mouth. I don't remember small fries ordering me around. <laughs> now, that's more like it. What is happening here? Oh, if it isn't the annoying brat, how about you bend over and let me clap it? Why aren't you bending over for me already? Well... It would be a lie if I said I wasn't expecting that to happen. This is why I got my ears fully covered, Sukuna. Well then, I can just cut your head off. Oh no! Itadori, are you okay? Is that even a question? Like, I know that I turned you into a fry, but damn, didn't know you became as dumb as one. What's going on here? Megumi, Itadori's head just got cut off. <laughs> You piece of shit! What are you going to do about it? With this treasure, I summon- You should summon a fresh haircut! Oh god. Wait, what? Haircuts don't come for free. The total will be $100. Oh, yeah, here it is. Hey,